All right, my name is Ryan Wartick. I'm a junior officer on the NOAA ship Thomas Jefferson. This is the bridge of the ship where uh, the ship is, is driven from. Uh, normally underway, uh, there'll be uh, at a minimum of two people up here. We'll have someone standing right here at the helm and where the ship is actually driven from. Um, at the helm, um, we have control of the main engines right here. And, and then you actually uh, steer the ship here and then you have different uh, meters and gauges and things that will tell you uh, things such as the angle of the rudder, um, main engine RPM, and uh, we can also steer the ship in autopilot, which is controlled from here as well. Um, as an officer on the ship, I will be standing up here uh, and uh, I'll be responsible for the safe navigation of the ship and also be giving orders to the helmsman um, for course changes and to make, make sure we maintain safe navigation of the ship. Um, up here on the bridge, we have lots of uh, different equipment to aid us in uh, safe navigation. We have two radars, um, one on each side. Um, and they're, they're slightly different from each other. One's in S-band and one is in X-band and they just, one's better for long range and one's better for short range. We also have a uh, fire detection system right here, which keeps us up to date on uh, the status of the entire ship if we have any type of uh, smoke alarms or heat sensors that are going off. We can see where it is and so we can combat the, the emergency quickly. Um, this right here is actually an engine order telegraph and we can communicate with the engine room uh, on what kind of uh, engine orders we want if for some reason uh, our manual uh, throttle was not working we can give them a order by clicking this to one of these positions um, over here we have uh, this computer screen is actually an electronic chart which uses GPS to display a little image of the ship on a, on a chart so we can see where we actually are uh, on the chart and then we have a chart table over there where we actually keep the paper chart that we will take fixes on and make sure that we're in the, uh, where we think we are. But we'll use the electronic chart as an aid to our navigation so for uh, a quick reference. And we also have uh, communication equipment. We have VHF radios. We have uh, two of them. Um, we have a system called AIS, which is called the uh, um, automatic identification system which uh, each ship will transmit their own information. They'll transmit their uh, the ship's name, their destination, and what they're, what, what they're doing. So that way when we're trying to get in touch with someone we don't have to say, hey, ship over there. We can, we can actually hail them by their name. Um, we also have a uh, fathometer which lets us know what the depth is. Um, <clears throat> and we have various alarms up here for engineering um, systems so we can make sure that systems are operating properly. Um, we also have some weather equipment up here. We can tell what the, uh, the wind is doing, uh, humidity, temperature. Um, and, uh, and that's most of the uh, navigation equipment up here. We also have control of all of our lights, our navigation lights. Um, and then we have different lights that we display depending on, on what we're doing. If we're, if we're surveying and we're towing gear, we might be considered restricting our ability to maneuver and we'll display special lights for that. Or at night, we display our, our, uh, our navigation lights, which is a, a green and red light on port and starboard sides of the ship. Um, and then also uh, a stern light and a um, and, and we have anchor lights and different kinds of lights for that. Uh, we also have a bow thruster which assists us in our uh, docking, which is right here. We can move the front the bow of the ship around with a, a, spe a special um, propeller that's mounted in the hull of the, the bow. Um, oh yeah, that'll tell us the, the role of the ship. Um, if we're, you know, if we're in rough seas, we can see how much we're healing over or if we have a list on the ship um, like right now it looks like we're sitting about sitting pretty pretty uh, 
even right now, but sometimes we'll have a list on the ship. Like if we have a launch on one side and not on the other, you'll see a list. Or if our, our fuel is not evenly distributed between the fuel tanks. Um, we also have a whistle up here. Pull this cord for the, the whistle. <clears throat> this right here shows us our, is a, is a gyro compass which is our backup means of compass. We normally, correction, this is a magnetic compass. We use a gyro compass as our, as our primary compass, which is our, they're located back there in the chart room. Um, this is our chart room slash uh, data acquisition room. All these computers over here uh, <clears throat> are used in, uh, when we're acquiring, um, when we're acquiring multi-beam, side scan, single beam, acquisition for our hydrography. Each screen will have a specific purpose. Uh, it'll be displaying information from a different system that's involved in uh, acquisition. Um, not, all, not everything will be used at once, but on a normal day of acquisition, it'll, it'll look like a lot is going on over here. And there really is a lot going on. The, the operator that's trained that will man this station has a lot of responsibility and is monitoring a lot of different things and make sure that we're, we're collecting uh, high quality data. Um, so that's this part of the room. Uh, we also have all of our flags over there, our flags and pendants which are used. Um, they can be used for different types of signaling or to just allow um, other vessels or people in the area to have an idea of what we're doing if we're doing something special. Um, these, right, these two things right here are uh, our primary compasses, they're gyro compasses. We have two of them just for redundancy. Uh, we'll, we'll have, they're always, they're always running and we'll, we'll have only one of them um, acting as the compass that's providing the signal, but they'll both be running. If, if one fails, we'll, it'll automatically switch over to the other one. Uh, all these cabinets here hold all of our paper charts. We have um, because this ship operates from Maine down to the Virgin Islands, we have every single chart for the east coast of the United States here, and we maintain them up to date with all of our all current changes um, and updates that come from the Coast Guard or uh, through Notice the Mariners. Um, we have a navigator on board, and that's one of their main responsibilities is maintain all of our charts up to date, and there's a lot more changes to the charts than you would, you would think. They're constantly updating charts. Uh, so that's the, the main function of this room. And uh, um, normally there's a workspace here to, to pull charts out and look at them and do voyage planning uh, and just making sure that um, we have a safe route planned out.